Disclaimer, disclaimer, these are not wild butterflies. They were not murdered. They died of natural causes. They lived long lives with a very uh, protected, safe sanctuary butterfly habitat in our butterfly garden house. We are so many things. Um, that being said, ta-da, we made it. Good afternoon, good night, wherever you are. Welcome to Butterfly Square Garden, a place where you can be yourself. If you've seen any of my previous videos, I teach people how to take care of butterflies. I show people how I take care of my butterflies. Um, butterflies such as this monarch last year and this year came and laid eggs. Well, they didn't lay eggs in my garden. I saw them last year, but they laid eggs in my garden this year. Took those eggs inside raise the caterpillars because an egg even if it does hatch most caterpillars don't even last past their in, their first instar let alone make it to their their fifth let alone form a successful chrysal chrysalis let alone become a butterfly and fly away and then who knows if they find any food after that if they find any predators humans have not wiped out their natural habitat so this is like a, a scientific conservation we're studying you know um but again they only last for about two months you know these guys well over six weeks um, they mate, they lay eggs on the, the host plant that I put in there with them, whether it's in a container garden or I take cuttings and I put it in water with marbles. Uh, when they do die, uh, there's two ways to mount and pin them. That's what this video is about. Uh, if they dry out, well, if they die, you can pin them right away. These two just died today. Let's name this one. Jiminy and this one can be Pablo Picasso. I don't know and I saw they both have their antenna. I, I thought one of their antennas fell off and that would make me sad because I like when they're in full full condition. Um, this one's wings are intact over here and this one's wings are broken on the tips. Again, long live butterflies they get beaten up but these uh, they look like they did well. I can't tell if they're male or female from the top from the bottom. Let's see what we flip them over. <clears throat> like this yes so um, let's start with one guy nope I think that's a girl and I'm gonna get this one out of the way and we will come back to him or her so the thing about butterflies is they're very delicate um, if they do dry out, this is what I was saying before, if they dry out you have to get a hydration chamber and rehydrate them and still they can they can be brittle and break so uh, I mean you can see this one hasn't moved since the beginning of the video I checked on it this morning I don't want to pin them until at least late later that night but the next day they're pretty much dry so rather than let them dry out I was gonna show you guys what I do um, you basically hold them down in place with um, I cut some papers um, tracing paper works best but I didn't have that so I use loose leaf which is good for cutting straight lines you know use a scissor for that I've got paddle nose tweezers that's what these are they come with butterfly kit stuff you can look them up and then um, you can see the butterfly is on it's called a mounting board it's just foam with a, a like a divot in the middle and I got a whole box of them so you can do as many as you want and then a whole bunch of pins um, those aren't official butterfly needles uh, you can get like they're so tiny not as small as acupuncture but anyways this is how you do it I'm just showing you guys what I do I'm just checking to make sure it's recording so <clears throat> In some forms of entomology, they take the pin first and stab it through the abdomen, but I don't like doing that because um, it dries onto the needle, and I don't like the look of the needle being on it. So uh, when it dries onto the needle, if you try to take the needle out, it'll crack the whole butterfly all over again, um, and it ruins what you did. So. Here's what I do. 
I pin down one side like so. Um, and then I'll pin down the other side, making sure that the abdomen is in the little divot that we just mentioned. Um, trying to get both the top and the bottom wing at the same time. Reminder, these are delicate creatures, and I want to keep this on camera without knocking all my papers over, so I'm just moving them over. If I go any closer, it would go out of focus, so I got to get a better camera. You guys know it. I say it all the time. Okay, the whole thing we want to do, I don't have my monarchs up here, but I do have a swallowtail. Um, we're going to try to pin it so that there's a little triangle in between the top wing and the bottom wing. Um, last year I did swallowtails um, and I didn't know any better so this one doesn't have the triangle so it's a good it's a good try but it's just less attractive um, in in the entomology world so what do I want to do first is pin the antennas in place and I'm doing my best to keep my fingers out of the way but I do 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 boo boo boo. Yeah, I'm so happy the antennas didn't fall off because that's like a really ugh. You gotta glue them on, and it's just like wah. Okay, so I guess how do I want to do this? I'm using my left hand. Am I crazy? No, I don't think I can do that. Feel free to move the butterfly around because this is... No, I don't want to. Do it. Keep it Keep it still. Do it the right way, everybody. So. Inch it up. Pretty high. You gotta go, like, way up, man. Almost, like, a little higher than the horizontal, I'd say. And I like where that is, so I'm going to pin it down as good as I can, right where it is. Okay. I think I'm going to leave that alone, um, because now I'm going to pin the right wing up. You want to do left, right, left, right, because if you do left, left, right, right, it could come out wonky. And I've got way too many pins in the way, but let's give it a go. The spot that I'm grabbing the wing from is up on top. There's a, a main vein. I think that's what it's called. There's like a central vein. Oops. Make sure you don't lose any pins when you're doing this because you can be walking through your room um, and, you know, you don't want to step on them later. Ooh, that was really close to the wing, but oh well. Okay, so, left wing, right wing. I think the right wing was a little higher than I wanted it to go. Was it? I'm talking like millimeters. I'm probably, I shouldn't even be. That's perfect. Who's a perfectionist? Not me. Okay. Now let's go back to the left bottom wing. Pull this out of the way. And it's a female, by the way. It's a female, everybody. And I'm pulling it up until there's a V and again tracing paper is is better for this but ugh, we make do with what we got I'll get tracing paper and I'll do that with the next ones 
Just inching it up and inching and inching until there's a little tiny V. Ugh, I didn't know where to put <coughs> the paper this time. Maybe you do it a little differently. I guess this is an art form, just like anything else is. Yep, and the last thing that we're going to do uh, is put two pins down by the abdomen over here so that if it falls when it dries out, it doesn't like, you know, look like it's a sad butterfly. Okay, so we finished the first one. Uh, yay! How long did that take me? We're 10 minutes into the video. All right, so now I'm going to have to do that again without ruining the first butterfly. Grabbing with my paddle-nosed tweezers very gently, picking up my butterfly. So this one's a little more complicated. Is it? I don't know. Let's see. Flipping. Oop. I don't want to break it when I flip it over. Having a little, <laughs> having trouble. <laughs> oh, goodness. There we go. You just have to be really careful. You know, take your time. Once you do a whole bunch of these, you start to get the hang of it. Um, oh, and this is a male. Wow, so we've got a beautiful female and a male. We can post them next to each other. Um, and give them away as a gift I guess because I don't really want to sell them I feel bad because they're like living creatures and I'm not about to like sell them like imagine someone wanted to buy your dog <laughs> not to say that you'd keep your dead dog around but some people do taxidermy is like a real thing this is like insect taxidermy okay um <clears throat> Starting with, what do we start with, class? Of course, the antennas. And they want to be sticking straight up like a beautiful little V. This guy's body is like totally facing in a different direction than the first one. And that's something that you'll learn when you work work with stuff like this is like you can pin one one way and then the next time you'll have to do something different. But follow follow the central, you know, line of like, I don't know, top left, top right, or in the other order, and then and then the bottom left, bottom right. But I'm gonna see if I can do this, but I might have to do it um, in portions. Actually, let's see. I think, uh, uh, yeah, I don't know. I'm going to have to go in, like, portions on this one. I'll put that there now, but I'm going to have to come back to it in a second. Sorry, my hand's in the way. Yeah, it's just, like, he's facing, his chest is down, so it's, like, throwing off the balance of the butterfly but I again do 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 it's like you if you can't get them into place immediately just try to like inch them closer and closer Whew, I am sweating guys Okay, so, you know, sometimes maybe one will be a little harder than the other. That's okay. Not to say that it's like... Hmm. You know what? I'm like, maybe I was just afraid. But it is kind of in place. See, look, now, see, it's in place. 
so it'll be easier to do the last little bit. Yeah, see that was that was nice and smooth. And then I'm just cleaning up the pin work. Okay, so again, I went just a little slightly higher than horizontal. Um, I'm not sure if that's the best, but that's what seems to work for me. Trying to, trying to get in there, but I've got so much paper. That's the downside, as you get so much in the way. Inch it, inch it, inch it. You know, without tearing it off from the rest of the body. And now I'm going to do the same thing, inch up the bottom left wing. A doodly 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 By the second one, it's funny because even though it's harder, you like practiced on the first one. So maybe it's good that we did it in the order that we did. I'm just talking while I do this. It's nice that you guys are here with me. Um, oops, I kind of tapped the abdomen, but it shifted him into place. So that was good. And now that I realize that I'm calling this one a him, and I hope I was calling the first one a her the whole time, because she's a her. Or they could be trans butterflies. You never know. I have yet to encounter a butterfly that is male on one half and female on the other, but that's something that happens. Okay, so I'm tapping the abdomen again. That seemed to work. Um, actually, the head, I might ruin this whole thing, but the head is a little far down. I'm going to try to... Oh my god, watch the head fall off everybody. I just, I didn't, uh, I mean... I'm totally gonna rip the head off everybody, watch. Okay, I didn't rip it off yet. I just, I, it was f so far down, and do you want these to be, like, so perfect? Okay, um, I'm gonna do a little bit more. That's really looking good, everybody, but now that we're in the home stretch, what I'm gonna do is just pin it all down because sometimes they can be wrinkles and not to say that that's you know the worst thing in the world but we just went through all that trouble to make something like really well done so I'm gonna finish up strong and I've got all this extra paper so I wish I had some tracing paper, but I don't, so that's okay. He's a jolly good fellow. Which nobody could deny. And I want to get that one last spot down here. And then we're, I'll tell you what happens next. Okay. Actually, I see one more spot that I want to do. Okay. I think I've said in my other videos, like, feel free to use more. If you've got them, use them. Okay, everybody. Ha-cha-cha-cha. -cha -cha. 
So, get my head out of the way for a second. Ta-da! So, that is what it looks like when you pin two butterflies. One male, one female. And, I mean, you totally can't see what I have until I unpin it. Um, so, in the next video, I'm going to show you guys how to use dried butterflies and put them in a makeshift shadow box that you have made out of stuff from the Dollar Trees uh, because someone else on YouTube showed me how to do it and I'll show you guys how to do it so now I'm gonna hold up the work that I did <coughs> ta-da you can see they're like you know they're pretty big um so Thanks for coming to my channel to watch, or maybe you wanted to learn um, a little bit about Lepidoptera. As a Lepidopterist, um, these are Lepidoptera, so I forget what the field is called. It's entomology, they're bugs, um, and that's biology. So, um, yeah. If, if you want to do stuff like this, you can buy them from provider, but I do not recommend going out and catching butterflies. Maybe, hey, maybe you found a dead butterfly. I've done that because when they die, for some reason, they, they like don't decompose. I'll have to figure out the science behind it, but they, they just like freaking last forever. Uh, so I didn't want to just take care of them and then they die and then I just throw them in the garbage or feed them to my bird or something. I wanted to make some beautiful artwork and again I'm not going to sell it but if someone wanted well we'll have to finish and put them into a shadow box so that'll be the next video in a couple days. Uh, with that being said I wanted to do a drawing video as well so um, this was more important because I didn't want the but once the butterflies dry out it's like it's way harder to do the, the work that I need to do um, with that being said do some hand exercises take good care of your fingers maybe you play an instrument but it's very important to have still hands so don't drink a whole bunch of coffee don't drink alcohol that'll mess you up and you'll tear your butterfly to pieces um, you can do it with smaller butterflies. I've got painted ladies. Um, you know, maybe you want to order caterpillars. Well, don't keep butterflies at home unless you use my my butterfly feeder. Watch my video on how to make it. It's so easy. Um, or, I mean, you can just use paper towels and Gatorade. Butterflies are really easy to take care of. Just, you know, look at my older videos if you want proof. Okay, it was a coincidence that it was a male and female. They wanted to die at the same time. But wow, they're like stunningly beautiful. They're so bright orange and it's 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 no wonder that they're the most they're called like the superstar butterfly cuz they're the most famous one. Um I would let them go, but blah blah blah, their environment's destroyed and this is a sanctuary, their habitat, they're well taken care of check out my older videos I just I feel like I have to keep going on and on because people are like oh well they might have OE which is a parasite by the way and oh they might disrupt the migration and oh blah 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 it's just too much you know I fed them squash and if maybe their kids are gonna look for squash instead of milkweed blah 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 I'm teaching you guys I'm showing you um this I'm I, I, I sound so defensive Ugh, goodness you know, it's like I've brought the butterflies into public places and they were like, oh, man, this poor creature. I'm like, you just are ignorant. So um, not to focus on that. I just want to raise awareness and education, maybe have a little fun and a sense of humor in the process. Um, you can buy the paddle, paddle nose tweezers online at my store for, you know, I'm kidding. I'm not selling these unless you'd buy them. Um, yeah. Hashtag butterfly square garden. Yo, see you at the next video. And we're going to finish this with a shadow box and then it'll 
lasts forever in a beautiful frame. Okay. Um, thanks again. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Check me out. Check you out. You know, we're growing community, not just butterflies, but as artists, as visual designers, as, you know, space time continuum manipulators. I'm just kidding. Um, thanks again. See you guys later. I love you. Bye.